Marie Dominique Chenu, the 7th of January 1895, Soisy sur Seine, S on the 11th of February 1990, Paris, was a progressive Roman Catholic theologian and one of the founders of the reformist journal Concilium. Topic: Early life. Topic: Chenu was born on 7 January 1895 at Soisy sur Seine, Esson, and grew up under the name Marcel Leon. His parents were bakers near Corbeil. Chenu entered the French province of the Dominican Order in 1913, taking the name Marie Dominique and studying at La Salle Choir, which at the time was located as a result of the French anti church laws of 1905 6 at Caen in Belgium. With the outbreak of World War I and the suspension of teaching at La Salle Choir, Chenu travelled to Rome in 1914 to study at the Pontificium Collegium Internationale Angelicum, the future Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas, Angelicum. While at the Angelicum, Chenu was ordained in 1919 and completed his doctorate in theology in 1920 under the direction of Reginald Garrigo Lagrange with a dissertation entitled De Contemplation, which studied the meaning of contemplation in Thomas Aquinas. Career In 1920 Chenu was appointed Professor of the History of Dogma at La Salle Choir and in late 1921 turned down a request from his doctoral supervisor Garrigo Lagranges to return to the Angelicum as a lecturer. He began to develop his theological perspective replacing the non-historical approach to Thomism that he had learned from Garrigo Lagrange at the Angelicum with an historicist reading of Aquinas. At La Salle Choir he was the teacher of Dominicans Eve Conger and Edward Schilbeeks. In 1930 Chenu founded the Institut d'Etudes Médiavales de Montréal. Chenu served as Regent of Studies at La Salle Choir from 1932 to 1942, and was therefore very involved in the move of La Salle Choir from Belgium to Etoiles, near Paris, in 1937. In 1937 Chenu privately issued a book entitled Une École de Théologie, La Salle Choir. In February 1938 he was called to Rome and reprimanded for this work. Then, in February 1942, Une École de Théologie was placed on the Vatican's Index of Forbidden Books because of its ideas about the role of historical studies in theology. He was removed as rector of La Salle Choir. He would never again teach there. Friends got him a post at the École des Hautes Études in Paris, and he subsequently taught at the Sorbonne and the Institut Catholique de Paris. In the late 1940s and early 1950s he became involved, as a friar preacher, in the nascent worker-priest movement, and its attempts to evangelize the anti-clerical industrial suburbs of Paris. Eventually, in 1953, Chenu was among the French Dominicans disciplined by the master of their order, Suarez, supposedly to save them from worse treatment by the Vatican. He was expelled from Paris and moved to Rouen, only being allowed to return to the Dominican convent of Saint Jacques in Paris in June 1962. According to Christophe F. Potworowski, for Chenu the incarnation is the means by which God acts within and on behalf of creation. Chenu was invited to be a paradis, or expert, at the Roman Catholic Second Vatican Council 1962 where he was influential in the pastoral constitution on the Church in the Modern World Gaudium et Spes. Influence Chenu was a forerunner of the resourcement in theology that preceded the reforms of Vatican II. Chenu played a large role in the reappropriation of historic theological sources that led to the Nouvelle Theology. In particular, he promoted the return to Thomas Aquinas as a source but rejecting 19th century modern scholastic theology. Although his book La Salle Choir, Une École de la Théologie was put on the Index Librorum Prohibitorum in 1942 by Pope Pius XII and the Holy Office, he was later exonerated and his theology embraced by the Fathers of the Second Vatican Council. <laughs> Liberation theology Chenu can be credited with being the grandfather of the liberation theology movement since Gustavo Gutierrez of Peru, who wrote the first book on liberation theology, studied with Chenu at the Institut Catholique de Paris, and cites him numerous times in his groundbreaking book. 
Gutierrez moved to France and became a member of the same Dominican community that Chenu belonged to. In addition, Per Chenu was teacher to the American Dominican Matthew Fox, since expelled from the order by Cardinal Ratzinger and now an Episcopal priest, who is recognized as the launcher of the creation spirituality movement. It was Per Chenu who introduced Fox to that tradition and who supported Fox for many years upon his return to America. Thus Chenu can also be called the grandfather of the creation spirituality movement. Bibliography A full bibliography can be found in Christoph F. Potworowski, "'Bibliography of Marie-Dominique Chenu", Contemplation and Incarnation, The Theology of Marie-Dominique Chenu Montreal, 2001, pp. 237–321 Topic. Position de la théologie. Revue des sciences philosophiques et théologiques 24 1935, 252ff, RPT, as la foi dans l'intelligence in Chenu, s la parole de Dieu, Volume 1, pp. 115-138. Une école de théologie, La Salquire, La Salquire, 1937, RPT. Paris, Cerf, 1985. La théologie comme science aux siècles, Paris, 1943, 3rd ed., Paris, VRIN, 1957. Introduction à l'étude de Saint Thomas d. Aquin, Montreal, Institut d'études médiévales, 1950, trans. Albert M. Landry and Dominic Hughes is Toward Understanding St. Thomas Chicago, Regnery, 1964 La Théologie au Douzième siècle Paris, VRIN, 1957, Selection ed., and Trans. Jerome Taylor and Lester Little as Nature, Man and Society in the Twelfth Century, Essays on New Theological Perspectives in the Latin West Chicago, U of Chicago p. 1968 Saint Thomas d'Aquin et la théologie, Paris, 1959, trans. Paul Philibert as Aquinas and his role in theology, Collegeville, Liturgical Press, 2002. La théologie est elle une science, Paris, Fayard, 1959, trans. A H N Green Armitage as as theology a science, New York, Hawthorne, 1959. La parole de Dieu, two vols, Paris, Surf, 1964, trans. Dennis Hickey as Faith and Theology, New York, Macmillan, 1968. Pour une théologie du travail, Paris, Sewell, 1965, trans. Lillian Soron as the Theology of Work and Exploration, Chicago, Regnery, 1966. A Conversation with Per Chenu, Dominicana 50, 1965, 141 ff. Pupil de Dieu dans le monde, Paris, Surf, 1966. Jacques Duquesne interroge le Per Chenu, Un théologien en liberté, Paris, Editions du Centurion, 1975. Notes Sources <laughs> 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 Metapenningen, Jürgen. Nouvelle Théologie, New Theology, Inheritor of Modernism, Precursor of Vatican II, London, T&T &T Clark, 2010 Topic External links Topic Works by or about Marie-Dominique Chenu in Libraries WorldCat Catalogue